we had an off course, behind schedule, and discredited effort to put high speed internet in our schools. We didn't let it ride. We changed courses and built the Arkansas Public School Computer Network. At that time, we became one of only six states in the country to fully deploy the highest broadband internet to every school in our state. <laughs> Together, we have lowered taxes for everyone making less than $75,000 in this state. And we have recruited industry to this state from Six Sour in Jacksonville to EnviroTech in Helena, West Helena, to Gladfelter in Fort Smith, to Conifex in El Dorado and Glenwood, with hundreds more businesses moving here or expanding in our state. Together, <laughs> together, we have invested in technology education, and as a result, we lead the nation in computer science education of our students. It started with an idea, a modest investment, and legislative support. It now sets an example for states from California to North Carolina. <laughs> Together, we have invested in pre-K education. Our budget for pre-K has increased from $111 million to $114 million in recent years. We rank 17th nationally in spending on pre-K and number 18 in four-year-old pre-K access, and we rank number five in the nation in terms of three-year access to early education. Always more to do, but that's a good start. cut the size and inefficiency of government. We have worked with you to cut the red tape. We repealed over 800 outdated and unnecessary regulations which make state government less burdensome to taxpayers and to businesses. We have reduced the size of the executive branch of state government by more than 1,400 employees. That is a reduction of over 5%. This is through improved management practices and attrition. But we can do more. Together, we have transformed a wasteful healthcare system to make sure our healthcare assistance is available to those who need it most. Think about the abuse of preferred family healthcare, which sucked tens of millions of dollars out of Medicaid into the hands of executives all at the cost of our developmentally disabled population. It has not been easy, but together we have changed the rules to reduce waste and the potential for abuse in Medicaid payments. And when it comes to the disability waiting list, we did something about it. And for the first time in decades, we provided help to those families and created a way to reduce the waiting list further. This helps families and maximizes the lives of those with disabilities. One year ago, I stood in this chamber and I reported to you on the story of Wendy and Wade Reeves and their daughter, Reagan. Today, I want to give you an update. As you remember, Reagan was one of the more than 3,000 on the disability waiting list hoping for services to improve their lives. She had been on the list for eight years. <coughs> then we together allowed eight and a half million dollars every year for those in need of services. Reagan was off the list and got the help she needed. And now the mom, Wendy, reports that she has been able to get a full-time job for the first time since Reagan was born. new skills with the help of the waiver worker, Wendy reports that the first time Reagan learned to wash her hair by herself was a big day. What we do in these chambers and in public service makes a difference in the lives of people. Together, we have changed our state budget from one that spends it all to one that creates savings for difficult times. We now have a long-term 
Reserve Fund. The current balance is over $125 million. So when it comes to the future, we have an understanding from history that our future is brightest when we embrace the new and we create growth. Remember, the voters supported and gave us approval for a growth agenda. We cannot let them down. Let's not let this moment in history pass us by, but let us work together for success. Let's work together and make history by reversing the trend of high taxes in Arkansas. Let's make history by transforming state government. Let's make history by raising teacher pay to historic levels in our state. Let's make history by focusing on a growth agenda that allows our Kansans to prosper. additional funding for public safety with 30 additional probation and parole officers. It also includes $2.3 million for an increase of 24 new troopers over the next two years. The Arkansas State Police is our top law enforcement agency and we must support our law enforcement. <laughs> 